Hello everyone! Today I will show you how to paint Chaos Obliterators. I removed the parts from the spruce and washed them with water with detergent. It is an important step because the molds are covered with silicone oil and all the resin miniatures have a greasy surface, even if you don't feel it under your fingers. I assembled the torsos using super glue. I mounted the main parts on the cork caps. The rest was painted on the sprues. I applied Vallejo Grey Polyurethane Primer. I painted the armor with hand paint from Vallejo Air Color Ranch. I decided to paint them in a Nargul color scheme. I thought this color combination used previously on a Nargul Demon Prince will fit perfectly to these mutated models and superior quality of fine cast. I applied Saddle Brown to the mutated body. Saddle Brown is paint from Model Color Range. I diluted it with water in ratio 1 to 1. Because the obliterators are very mutated and very often it's hard to say where the mutation begins and where it ends, an airbrush is a perfect tool for applying the colors. It gives a smooth transition between the mutation and the armor colors. I started highlighting the flesh. I used Vallejo Air 10 paint. I applied the second color to the armor. I used olive grey from Vallejo Air Colors.
I mixed Saddle Brown and Bone White and overbrushed the flesh. I wanted to create a very strong contrast on the mutations before the next step. I also used Pure Bone White to pop up the highest points. I secured the minis with satin varnish. I wanted to prepare a smooth surface for washing. I prepared a mix of gun and rust paint from Vallejo Aircolor. I mixed paints in 2 to 1 ratio. I applied this color to the metal bands on the armor. As you see, the color is like a little corroded steel. Thank you for watching, please like the video, comment and subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this movie, please share it with your friends, I really appreciate it. Thank you, cheers!